but I have my gear on, I have my helmet on, and we are getting ready to go. what's going on guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode it's your girl mahogany if you are new here hey beautiful if you are returning what's up family i hope y'all are doing amazing today i hope y'all are feeling good and just you know doing amazing that's what my hope and prayer is for you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl drops a video because you don't want to miss nothing over here like if you miss an episode you miss a lot okay like you didn't miss a lot baby so if you haven't seen what i uploaded before this like go back and watch that then come back here because if you missed it or you can watch this one then go back and watch that one okay since you're already here but like if you missed the episode you missed a lot today is going to be a very very special day i'm super excited i am in my adventurous bag one thing about me though y'all i am truly an adventurous person i love to do activities and stuff like that so that's what we're going to be doing today and i'm really excited it's like a solo date type vibe like that's the only way i can describe what i'm doing today it's like a solo date with me so 
I love me, so we're gonna have a great time. You gotta get to the place where you really love yourself so much that when you get a chance to spend time with just you, it's like, girl, we about to have a ball because I love you and I love spending time with you. You are that girl. That's how you gotta be. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. But I am so, so excited for today, guys. As you saw, I had me some breakfast this morning. It was really good. And then I said I was gonna do my makeup. Y'all got about 37 minutes into it because that's how long it said I had been filming and just wiped it all off because it wasn't giving what it needed to give. I'm open to you guys' tips. You can definitely like put some tips below if you guys want to let me know like where I was going wrong. I was on a no makeup makeup look and I just didn't like it. So I wiped my whole face off, put some mascara on, a little bit of blush and lip liner and lip gloss and said, and I love this so much more for me. Y'all know I love my natural skin, but I do want to learn how to do like a beat face. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm sure I just need more practice, but when it don't be looking like how I want it to look, like I just want to be able to do my face and it look just like my makeup artist. And I know it does not work like that, but when I see it starting to look a little weirdish, to the left, to the left, wipe all that stuff straight off your face. And that's what I did. So without further ado, I am getting ready to get ready. I'm about to load my purse up. This is the purse that I'm wearing today. And so we are about to load her up and put all the stuff that I need in it for the day. And um, we're gonna be heading out, even though I want a new purse, y'all. Like. Granted, I have a bunch of purses. I really do. I have so y'all, if you've been following me for like some years, you know I used to have in my marital home like a glam room and everything like that. But once I moved, that really wasn't my vibe anymore. And you know, I've just been finding my way on what I like was true to me, not what's trending or popular, like or popular, but truly like what do I want? And the glam room look wasn't it anymore. Um, and so I have like my purses all lined up in the top of my closet, but I do want to get some new bags. So I might do that in a vlog and kind of just do a little mini shopping spree because your girl has been working hard. She's been doing the inner work. She's been doing the outer work. She's been doing the work with her kids. She's been doing the business work. And so I want to treat myself, um, to some, to a new bag and some things, but that's not this vlog. I'm getting ready to load my purse up. And we're getting ready to head on out. Couldn't put no jewelry on because where I'm going, they didn't want no earrings, no nothing. They better be fine with this Apple Watch. I don't have to put it in my purse. But they didn't want no jewelry, no earrings, no nothing. You need sneakers and all of that comfy outfit, which I got on. And so I love this set, y'all. I have so many, like, of these sets. And that's the only thing I didn't think through because it's like when I'm vlogging and stuff, it probably looked like I'd be wearing the same sets, but it's like I bought multiple ones of them. I know I'm not the only one that if you find a set that you like, you get all colors. And then like in the neutrals, the gray, blacks, and the blues, you just go in and double up because it's like, but then when you vlog all the time, it's like, mm, mm, well, who cares? That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get this purse loaded so I can head out the door because I have to, I need to be there. Let me stop talking because y'all, I need to be leaving like, now okay guys so we are headed out check in once we arrive all right y'all so i have arrived here and i'm at ifly y'all i didn't sign up y'all for some indoor skydiving my stomach feel like it's about to drop my stomach feels like it's about to drop <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so excited though, but I'm like, <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So let's go on inside. All right, y'all, so hopefully y'all can hear me because I have these earplugs in and they are, like, they work really good, so I cannot hear nothing. Um, so hopefully I'm talking loud enough for y'all to hear me. But I have my gear on, I have my helmet on, and we are getting ready to go.
Just did so it makes sense so yeah i had so much fun uh, i'm so oh go do it 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 it was so much fun and i finished in time y'all where i can still make it to church a win is a win so i don't want to talk too much i want to head to church so i can make it on time and today is like the best day ever yeah, hey guys so we are at church i can't wait so excited y'all know i love my church baby it has pulled me through mm, mm, mm. lord i will still see all right guys so i just got out of church it was definitely amazing an amazing amazing message so good i'll chat about it in a second once i get in the truck y'all right, so i hope y'all are doing good feeling good all that y'all have been with me all day and it's been a great day i stopped by gusto i believe that's the name of it y'all and got their chipotle mango avocado bowl y'all know i don't be out here wilding it's gonna be healthy um so i got that here it is it reminds me of kava but healthier does that make sense um that's the best way i can describe gusto like it's really healthier kava you can get lamb and get all this stuff and have it i mean i guess you could make this unhealthy too but to me it's a little harder like but with kava baby you can have kava all over the place this is my second time having it um one time i had it when i was at my hairstylist house i had ubered it and this time I actually went here and I'm glad that I went here because I really liked it when I had an Uber to me, but it wasn't hot and that really took away from it. These are the bomb y'all. They're sweet potato chips, baby. So I'm about to eat and um, these are so good. They're 190 calories to go. God, dog. Two grams of protein. And 11 grams of fat. And I have to stay under 100 grams. Like, my max is 100 grams of fat a day. I don't know if I'm going to eat all this because... Um, sorry. I don't know if I want to give 11 grams of fat to that maybe three five um so yeah what i got on mine is everything that comes with it and i got half and half greens and rice and then i did spicy chicken for my protein so like i said this is my second time having it and it's real good in my opinion y'all want nobody in the line oh this is hot oh but this is what i wanted i wanted it hot because the last time I had it, like, it was tasty, but having warm food, it really didn't. It took away from the experience, I felt like. They ain't putting that one napkin in here. So, I'm going to eat this. Not going to eat it all. I don't think it's something you can eat in the whole sitting. I mean, I guess if you're real hungry, but I ain't about to eat all of this. This is a lot. I'll probably eat a little bit later. And then we're going to chit-chat for a second. And then I'm wrapping up this vlog. Hope y'all enjoy hanging with your girl. All right, y'all. That food was so dank on good. Excuse those snacks in the back, y'all. Those are the kids. But that food was so dang on good, y'all. It don't make no sense. It was so good. So I'm getting ready to head home. But I did want to chit-chat with y'all for just a sec. Today, the pastor preached, don't fumble your favor. Don't fumble your favor. And it was just such a powerful, inspiring message. Definitely look it up online. 
search change church and then you'll see like all the recent sermons and stuff another sermon that he preached last week was i'm going somewhere that one was really good and he does a lot of preaching in series so right now we're going through the book of proverbs and it's been so so good rewarding and just everything that i've needed and so today he preached on don't fumble your favor and pretty much you know what i got out of the message and it's going to mean different things to different people um because we're all in different seasons of our life but <clears throat> i feel like a lot of you guys can relate because i know a lot of the kind of people that follow me just from like the comments and the things you guys say um and so i feel like you guys many of you will be able to relate but he was pretty much saying how you know god has given you a second win he's giving you a fresh opportunity he's giving you you know a chance at life again you know and he's broke you from chains he's just giving you a new start that new era that i'm always talking about and it's so important that you don't fumble it how can you fumble it instead of doing what god is telling you to do and walking in what he's telling you to do and doing what he's telling you to do you worry about people's opinions you let people get in your ear and tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing, even though you know what God has told you to do. You let haters, you let people and naysayers that say negative things and pe that, you know what haters do. You know, people that's always criticizing you and <clears throat> not giving you constructive criticism, but calling you names, bullying, all of that stuff. You let that stuff get to you and bring you down and bring you from where you are, you know? Those are ways that you can fumble your favor um, by staying stagnant, staying stuck. Instead of moving forward, despite it being hard, despite it being challenging, you stay stuck instead of moving forward. You can fumble your favor. So it's so important that as you go through this season that you keep going and you obey God and you shut out all the ex external noise that doesn't apply to what he's calling you to do sometimes that can even mean family you know because when god does a new thing in your life it's going to be new to people they're not going to understand it not everyone is going to get it like you're going to have people that get it but then it's going to be people that don't get it they don't understand why are you doing that why you know and sometimes those people can be family thank god in this season my family is so supportive of me but i know what it's like too you know when they question things or they're like uh you should should you be doing this or is that really going to work you know um i've been in those seasons too you know many years ago but i've definitely been there and so i say that to say like no matter who it is family friends anybody stay focused on what god is telling you to do keep walking despite how challenging it can be uncomfortable and just unfamiliar because sometimes god will pave the road out he'll provide for us financially he'll do everything that we need to do literally it's our job is just to keep walking like he's blocking out this he's stopping that he's letting us overcome this we're conquering that he's taking care of us financially he's opening doors all we have to do is this and sometimes keeping walking can just be tough but I want you to keep going despite what you're going through keep going and baby don't fumble your favor because this is your season to win okay you come a long way. You come through things that some people didn't survive. You hear me? You come through challenges. You've come through too much and you are worth too much and you are loved by God too much to get to where you are now and fumble. Don't do it, baby. Keep going and remember who you are and whose you are. And if you feel like nobody else loves you, baby, guess what? I love you, okay? Keep going, sis, and I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all in my next vloggy vlog. Till next time, make sure you're following me on all social media platforms. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you. Mwah.